Hey guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete here at the home of my friend Seamus O'Leary. Thanks for having me over. Thank you for coming. I love your home because you have a lot of shade created by this incredible bamboo and fruit trees and shade trees, a really amazing landscape. Thank you. I think everybody should have a landscape full of life like yours is. Yes. You told me to come over today to try this fruit you wanted me to taste. And yep. I figured we should do a video about it for the audience out there. So what is this? Tell me about it. This is a mango. And what's special about this one is that it has not been for sale yet. Oh. So this has been in the works for a few years now. Uh, it is unnamed at this point. Right now we're just calling it the AZ34. Okay. And we actually have to come up with a good name for it. It smells good. So what I'm looking for is feedback from the people that have tried it. You know, what mm -hmm. does it remind them of? Is it coconutty? Is it, you know, does it taste like a tomato? Does it taste banana? So we'll take that feedback and come up with an appropriate name for it but we're going to have these trees for sale either this fall or next spring. We have a bunch of them that are ready to go. You'll have these trees for sale through Seamus O'Leary's, which is now called Green Life by Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees. What's the website? Correct. It's greenlifebyshamusoleary.com. Cool. I'll put it down below, and I'll also put your Instagram and YouTube down below for folks too. You have a lot of great gardening videos on your YouTube. Thank you. So I'm curious, I'm confused and I'm curious. What does that mean, it's an unnamed mango? How do they create a mango like this? Well. The, the new mangoes, the new fruits, take a few years to come up with because you have to cross different varieties. And through cross-pollination, through grafting? Yeah, grafting, and, and there's a few different processes for it. Before I met you, I thought all mangoes tasted like mangoes, but you have really shown me there's like pineapple tasting mangoes, like coconut tasting mangoes, and like tutti fruity gum tasting mangoes. Right. And there's a wide variety of mangoes yeah. and varieties out there. So yeah. let's cut into this one and see how it tastes. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm gonna cut this one through. You cut. Okay, I'm gonna go. That way you can't say that I gave you the better piece of the fruit or. Sure, sure. That, so. Can I do it um, the way I've been doing it lately? You can do whatever you wanna do. Okay, I make one cut, cut it in half that way. Then I slice it like this, maybe about an inch or three quarters of an inch apart. And then I go this way again, like this. And then I take it right here and I kind of pull it back and expose all these cubes. It's kind of a fancy schmancy way to eat your mango. And that's why I like you cut. There we go. Should I just go for it? Go for it. I mean, so far, I mean, it's just kind of pulling right off the skin really nicely. Right. So we usually like mangoes that are not very fibrous. No fiber. Right, because the fiber is too stringy and we want right. more of a smooth mango. Correct. So let me taste this one. Definitely smooth. No fiber nice. in that. Nice. Not coconut, not pineapple, just a very pure mango taste, in my opinion. Like, this tastes like classic mango to me. But the texture of the fruit is, is high class. Like, really smooth to me. But you've tasted more mangoes than me. This is good. Smooth as hell, like, this is good. like a fruity pudding, just smooth. Yeah. But still has that firmness that mango has with juiciness. There's no fiber. Mm. It reminds me a little bit of a carry, mm. but it's not as soft and delicate as a carry. Carries brews very easily. They're really good mangoes, but it's hard to tell when they're ripe because they don't change color. They stay green when they're ripe. And you just look at them funny and they bruise. Mm. So this kind of reminds me of a carry, but a fuller, bigger mango mm -hmm. with a little bit more structure to it. I like how you don't throw your mango peels in the trash, you use them as compost. Oh yeah. In fact, if anyone watching this video throws their peels in the trash, I respectfully request that you stop watching these videos. <laughs> They're not a serious gardener yet. Because no. you start to realize that anything you eat that's from Earth goes back into the tree's root system as nutrients. That's a good mango. I like it. Yeah, it's a really good mango. I actually don't even care if the video still, I'm just gonna keep eating. Well, I decimated that one right there and if I had my tortoise Leo around, he could eat that. But we'll just put it as mulch into your trees over there. That was great. So AZ34. AZ34. We don't have a name on it yet. So folks in the comments down below have to comment, what do you think this smooth, delicious, classic mango tasting fruit should be called? What should we call the variety? Maybe if you make some suggestions down below, Seamus will read the comments and be inspired to create the right name. 
That's true. So comment down there. Anything that does not have the name Jake in it. I don't want to hear any of that <laughs> nonsense. Hmm, maybe it's called the vegan athlete. Right, right, <laughs> right. No, I really appreciate you uh, letting me taste these fruits because without the connection I have with you, I'd never taste a lot of these cool uh, tropical fruits. I appreciate the interest. Because you do travel the world. You travel to Thailand and Florida. You travel all over Hawaii, all over the place to find these fruits. We try. We need a traveling show about your exploits and your, and your adventures. We need to hire like a camera person and an editor to travel with you. So you can just be you and all the footage can be done uh, on its own. Okay. In the future. We'll try that. I'm full of mangoes. So I'm going to fist bump you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Please follow my friend Seamus O'Leary. Hit like on this video. Check me out at jakemace.com and Seamus' Facebook page and his Instagram are great places to reach him because he's active posting a lot of his adventures on Instagram and Facebook. So if you're local here in the Phoenix area, uh, you can get treats from you. Or even if you're not local, you sometimes travel. Yeah, we'll go up to uh, Vegas, New Mexico, some of the neighboring states. Tucson. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Go vegan, grow your food at home, and I'll see you guys back here next time. I'm going to eat some more of this. Eat it all. All right. One more time. Here we go. Cut in half. One, two, three. Yeah! Got my finger. Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Like, what are some of the most expensive kind of mangoes go for? Oh, there's mangoes that can bring $15, $20 a piece. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. And that's actually still on the cheap side. I know there's some mangoes over in Japan that bring $100, $200 of fruit because what? of the way that they grow them and the particular size, it's an art. Wow.